Sheffield, of course, has this great heritage of manufacturing and of technology. And probably because of that, we have in the University of Sheffield one of the great engineering schools in the United Kingdom and indeed in Europe. We have a globally competitive group of engineering departments. If you look at Sheffield, it has an enormous tradition of being important in manufacturing, being important in engineering. But this is a particularly important time for us to make sure with the resurgence of manufacturing that we're putting in place the right progression for young people, the right opportunities, the right opportunities for doing the research that's relevant. You know, all those things are there. Made in Sheffield means something. You go around the world and you say to anyone, made in Sheffield, they'll tell you what that means. It still stands for quality and reliability and precision engineering. We do have a link all the way through from people who make the material all the way through to the people who make something from it. And I think it's that link through Sheffield that's vitally important. That's what sets us apart. We were simply looking for tapping into what we knew was a very strong background in history here in both the uh, fabrication of materials but also the development of cutting tools and understanding that interaction between cutting tools and materials to get the best possible quality of finish, uh, metal removal rate, productivity and so on. So there was a history here to tie into. I think we've established here at the AMRC a model for how you bring industry, universities, and the government together to try to create value for the long term. One of the unique things that comes out of the AMRC are people who are ready to move into industry, really are highly trained, not just to the needs of industry, but to how you go about and bringing the solutions for industries. Our purpose in life is to help UK companies to get a bigger share of a global manufacturing market. And that generally means helping them to go into the supply chains of the big players such as Boeing, Rolls-Royce, and the nuclear, Arriva, Westinghouse, and become major players in those supply chains. As regards capital equipment and size of the facility, we're pretty well unique in the world now. Uh, we're one of the biggest, if not the biggest, facility with this type of uh, machine tools and equipment. It was realised many years ago that to try and conduct any sort of manufacturing development or limited research development within production facilities was virtually impossible because you're trying to interact with production machinery. You've got to do it in a safe environment away from the production areas and away from the distractions. That capability is given to us by the AMRC. The beauty of working with uh, Sheffield University is the fact they seem to understand the need of industry. Uh, very open to listening to what industry has to say and also producing scale parts. You know, we're not talking about producing anything in labs, we're talking about full scale parts. Well, the benefit we find here, of course, is that many of our key suppliers to our own company are also members of the AMRC. And so the synergy it brings from the machine tool suppliers, the cutting tool suppliers, coolant suppliers, and behind us see the robotics, which we're investing heavily in, it brings it all together in the one facility so the suppliers we're already familiar with. And it's an excellent facility to conduct this work. It couldn't be better. It's the most ideal situation we could possibly have. The interaction with not just the AMRC, but all of our partners has been tremendous for our business. There's been some real commercial benefit. We now supply consignment machines in here. I've also got three engineers working on site permanently. One of the major partners here, I don't think we would be quite as well integrated into that company if we didn't have the AMRC. Boeing has a wide variety of products that we produce, and so we have a wide range of different materials, different types of structure that you make from those materials, whether they're composites, metallics, or whatever. So you need the tools and means to fabricate components based on those materials. And because we have such a wide partnership here, focusing on different type of parts, it's been great the breadth of the different technologies that we've been able to look at here. We've coordinated several projects with a lot of European universities, industrial companies and smaller companies and what we're looking to do is technology transfer, allowing these small companies to upskill their workforce and basically to give them access to the technology we're developing. For example, the Rappalat project looked at additive manufacturing using wire. So you a lot of material for parts where you, you basically get a machine 95% away, you've got a lot of cost and time and savings as well as environmental advantages. We're in a very unique position as a university to develop industrial partnerships, particularly with the big players, because we have the capability to deliver large projects and large components. Everybody we meet, we say, what would it mean to you if we could reduce the price, the cost of manufacture of this? If we could make it quicker, cheaper, greener, what would that mean to you? And that's really the way we meet every partner 
well, that's what we try to demonstrate and prove to them. Generally, we can take about a factor of five times the cost out of any part they manufacture. What this is going to be is a advanced manufacturing centre. What it currently is, is, a, is an old foundry area that we've had in the department since the building was made. So there's a lot of development work going on in there and a lot of really new exciting stuff is going to go in. We're going to concentrate on new and emerging technologies that could in time replace our standard technologies of casting and forging. But we're also looking to develop new ways of making current products but also ways of manufacturing new products. We are transforming the laboratory from what it was pretty well in its original state when it was built in the 60s to a new state-of-the-art rapid manufacturing materials-based laboratory. There's uh, many more industries around uh, and we need to be able to service all of those industrial sectors so the equipment that is going in here will be flexible, it will be for a wide variety of different applications. Well, I'm very excited, obviously. I mean, we've got a huge amount of money coming into the university. There's £5 million worth of investment, but two and a half million of that is going into new equipment and, and the facility. And we're getting a lot of new people in there. But more importantly, I think it's going to be an access area for local and national and international industry to work with us in an area of emerging novel technologies based on powder metallurgy. So all in all, it's a major investment, all of which is very directed in industry, very much allowing us to make proof of concept in the laboratory, test it for industry and then see whether they can take that idea up and actually transfer it into their manufacturing route. Where we are at the moment, this is our main additive layer manufacturing system, it's called an RCAM. Uh, it's an electron beam system and it operates at high temperatures. It's essentially something that's come out of a rapid prototyping sort of environment and what we've been doing over the past four years since we've had it is making it into a production ready manufacturing system to allow us to make working components mainly out of titanium. That's our main material. Everything that we put in that system, everything that goes in the machine, more or less with very, very small amount of waste is used. So we get about 90-95% material utilisation rather than 90-95% scrap. We're in the Solby Centre for Electron Microscopy. Within this centre we have 12 electron microscopes with a total value of about three million pounds. One of the fundamental parts of material science is understanding what goes on inside the material, what its fine scale microstructure is. We're using uh, the microscopes here as part of the Mercury Centre very much to do industrially important work. I've got one example here in my hand. This is a hip joint replacement. This one, in fact, uh, went wrong, unfortunately. It looks absolutely fine to the naked eye. But in fact, if you look at that surface on this microscope, you can see it's really badly pitted and the surface is not smooth at all. So all these bits are where the surface has started to break up. What we can do for industry is we can offer this whole range of different microscopes to industry for them to come and use. So it's a huge capital investment that they can come into. It's also a huge personal investment in terms of the training and so on. This event today is just one element of the whole global manufacturing festival. We have a strong requirement for new talent coming through the system in apprenticeships, in university graduates. This afternoon is basically showing what our world-class universities can do for us as businesses. The diversity of things that we can do together, that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing the range of opportunities we have for taking frontline research, wonderful training, energy and enthusiasm for technical things with the opportunities. What's really impressed me about what I've seen today is that we have the education, research and training establishments from the city. We have them here, we have industry here and we're showing that we work together and adding value from 16 year olds to even people like me working with industry making a difference to people in Sheffield. One thing that perhaps local folk around here are not very good at is shouting about it. With the current economic climate and all this rebalancing of the economy that we're here and manufacturing being back on the political agenda, the time was perfect to really say, you know, this is the heart of manufacturing, this is the home of manufacturing. Certainly the reputation of Sheffield is what brought us here and the company's actually invested more than just in the EMRC at the university. 
but we're now sponsoring uh, scholarships for both undergraduates and graduates. And we're looking for the future to actually be able to hire here, get internships from uh, students here, and really make the University of Sheffield more part of the Boeing UK brand. In the future, we're hoping to also de develop engineers, uh, develop skills. We've got proposals now to develop skills right from uh, apprentice level right through to postdoctoral level, which are required by the manufacturing industry. I, I really like working at the MRC because it's given me a lot of advantages, uh, opportunities for travel, opportunities to work with different people, lots of challenges and lots of different technologies. I work with additive manufacturing, with assembly, with green technologies and environmental machining, so it's really interesting. I've learned a hell of a lot more here than I ever did when I was at college, full time just from the hands-on experience that I'm getting here. You know that you're actually contributing something. I'd like to be the manager of this place one day, really. But uh, I think it's got a real good future. Well, it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? We've got a brand new machine here, worth over a million pound. We get to do research work, which you wouldn't normally get to do in a factory environment, because they haven't got time to do it, because they're, they're wanting to produce work all, uh, as fast as possible. But. Uh, it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity to be able to work on a machine like this. Our industrial partners are very attracted to a sort of a, a pragmatic attitude. We deliver on time, we deliver to cost, and we actually deliver a product. So we're unusual in that we don't deliver a research report or a project proposal, we actually deliver a part and a methodology of making that part. We have a very collaborative uh, way of working. We have a very flat management structure. We employ a young, innovative staff who can afford to make mistakes but also make the innovative step. The beauty of the collaboration on the on project work that we run through the MRC is the fact that we've got all the key players in one in one building. So when we want to launch a project through running through the MRC, uh, we can get all the relevant parties involved right from the very start of the project to ensure we map out all our needs at the early stages and then you know we hopefully then have a successful smooth project running forward thereafter. It's absolutely critical that we have these partnerships to retain our world-class place in the manufacturing sector. The world of academia can't exist on its own, it has to have a, a practical application and I think the people that are employed here have that right mindset. So from the collegiate aspect it works very very well indeed. It is unique, absolutely unique because you don't see this type of activity, we've got competitors machines here, we have lots of opportunities to develop things and I think the university themselves develop things and get them to market quickly and that's, that's the great thing. There's some very senior companies that do work in here and they've seen some great commercial benefits. You don't get that elsewhere. It is in fact a partnership of ideas and enthusiasm and capability. So the value is being together and being bigger together actually as partners in industry, partners in commerce and partners in other parts of education. I think that's the deal is to do it together and be bigger together. It has been a fantastic experience for me personally and you just have to look around you and you realize from where they started in one small lab in a university 20 years ago, what it's built itself into over time. It's been remarkable to see this happen. Uh, I come here several times a year and over the course of 10 years, not just here out at the park, but the whole city center and watching Sheffield grow over the last 10 years, it's been remarkable. And this has been part of that story, I think, of Sheffield's growth.